Hey there, this is uh, Christy Ashcraft from Christy's Leads. I was just doing some research in your niche and I came across your company and I thought I'd shoot you the screencast, analyzing your online presence. If at the end you're interested in learning how Christy's Leads can help you grow, please reach out via phone, email, or text. And if not, no harm, no foul. I appreciate you watching and any comments on the video as well. So I'm going to start with your front page here. Um, <clears throat> your great logo, call to action here. It looks good, your front page looks good. Um, some drop down bars, clickable, book your appointment now, another call to action. Pictures are always good, friendly faces, pictures of your work and what you do. Um, testimonials, recent projects, looks good. We like to have about 1500 words of authoritative content on the front page. <clears throat> it helps scatter keywords that are highly searched and relevant to your niche. And that way you can be found for more things. And even the way you're um, saving your images counts as content. So you want to make sure they're saved as highly searched keywords. And we'll go, I'll show you those keywords uh, in a little bit here. The next thing I want to talk about is the map pack and citations. So a citation is anything that is your business name and phone number that appears in online directories like Yelps, Angie, stuff like that. And the, those citations help keep you top of the map pack. So you basically, it's just like, you guys are down here, which is great. It's just a matter of beating out your competitors to get to the top. But being in the map pack, top of the map pack, and top organically is where most of the traffic is going to go that visits this page. So I just did a Google search, Plumbers Montgomery County PA. I know you said Norristown. I don't know if you do other areas of, Montgom of Montgomery County. You have your Google guaranteed ads, which are good ads. They're more trusted than your regular ads. And then you get into your map pack, which again, you guys are in, which is awesome. And then in addition to being in the map pack, by keeping up with your citations, you want to be beneath the map pack and the top spot organically. So your Yelps, they don't count. Len the plumber is not in the map pack on the first page, but he is top organically. Um, and I know he serves a broad area. Area, Ben, Ben Man is plumbing. So he's top, the next top organic. It goes down and down and down. So this is only for the keyword search plumbers, Montgomery County. Um, you know, it's just like, well, if you're in this spot and underneath it, you're taking up more space on the page. So people are just more likely to click you for sure. So in order to get organically ranked, you have to have strong backlinks and domains. So a backlink is any other website that links back to yours. And the domain is the website where it's coming from. So we have a program called ARIS that gives us your backlinks, gives us your domains and what they are. So here are your numbers and the domains have to be of high quality. So you got to go out and get them and you got to make sure they're not broken. You got to keep up with them by managing them because they can just kind of decrease in quality and then Google will start to make your site less relevant and you won't have as much power. So with that being said, you have, you are ranking for about 160 keywords and you're getting about 230 visits a month. And let me just click on these keywords. This might take a second to load. While I'm doing that, I'm going to show you how um, Len was in performing. Now, again, it's, this is a really not like a strong competitor because they're so broad. I mean, I'm sure he's pulling in weight from all of these areas. We can see like this is a very high number of backlinks. If you have like a strong company that's servicing a more local area, you know, they might have two or 3,000 bunch of referring domains, bunch of traffic he's pulling in. But again, his area is so broad. Um, but I want to show you your keywords, what you're ranking for here. So your Attila, Attila. So here's a good keyword for you. Norristown PA plumber. It's an easy, easy to rank for 150 volume, which is very good search volume, but you're in the 10th spot. So you're not, you know, maybe you're on the second page. You might even be in the third. Collegeville plumbers, look at that, 400 searches a month. You're in the 14th spot. So we would work on pulling you up to those first spots for those searches, and then people are going to click on you, especially with plumbers, because they probably just need one right away as opposed to like a home remodeler where they might not. They might take a little bit longer to, um, like they might compare quotes and stuff. Plumbing, Norristown, PA, 150 searches. You're in the 11th spot. So what you are, Norristown Plumbing, you're in the eighth spot. So that's good, but that's only 60 searches. 
So if you double the number of searches, if you were just in the top spot here, you'd get that many more buyer intent leads. Some of these words, they have no buyer intent here. Let me show you that. Um, like Amy Plumbing, drain cleaning. I mean, maybe that's buyer intent, but someone could just be, well, it does have college real behind it. So that is buyer intent. You're in the 19th spot, 350, but it was just drain cleaning. Someone could just be searching for how to clean my drain. So those are things we would look at more specifically and where your competitors are ranking and kind of throw those keywords in you if we were to, um, you know, take a look at your website and you could pop up for more searches for sure if you're looking to grow. Thank you so much for watching. And um, if you're interested, please reach out. I'll probably follow up with an email or phone call and have a great day. Bye bye.